Hello and welcome to another episode of Anything Arduino. Uh, in episode 20 I did a scary Halloween prank and I wanted to have some sounds and because I was very pressed on time I took this simple mp3 player board uh, connected some pins and connected relays to these pins uh, to act as the switches so the relay acts as a, as a switch um, today when I have a bit more time I want to go through a more elegant solution to do this that doesn't take as much space and 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 it's probably cheaper as well. So today we are going to use work with the NPN transistor and use that as a switch. So I'm going to go through a method of, of figuring out how, how to build the circuit and uh, also just a short explanation of, the, of what happens. Um, so before we go into the hardware, we're not going to do as much software today. This is a bit more hardware, but still going to show you how to interact with the Arduino. Of course, it is, after all, anything Arduino. Uh, so for anyone who doesn't know, the transistor, sometimes when you try to explain electronics, you try to use water as an example. So imagine there's a big pipe of water right here. And, that, uh, and then there's a valve and the valve is the transistor so the three legs of the transistor is the pipe the from pipe the to pipe and the and there's a pipe so to speak into the valve so when there's no water running here there is also no water running in the big pipe but when you start, when there starts to flow a bit of water in the, so this is the base going in here, when there starts flowing water in the base, and the more water that goes in the base, the more water uh, the valve opens up for the big pipe uh, with the collector and the emitter. The collector, the emitter, and the base. So when you pull, put voltage on the base you you get and it has to be a certain voltage that's why you need to have a resistor in the middle to make sure that that you open it enough but not so that very fussy explanation uh, after that we are going to I'm going to try to explain a bit more uh, in uh, in the hardware. Alright so here you have a picture of the circuit that we are going to build. Don't bother about the uh, resistor values they don't apply for our application. So here's the small current the base pin and this is where we're going to connect one of the digital pins from the Arduino. Uh, and then we are going to, instead of a fixed value here, because uh, we don't know what value we want, we are going to use a potentiometer here to find the value that we need to get a connection from the plus voltage side to ground to get the, the button that we want to press to be pushed. Uh, so we're not going to have a resistor here. We are just going to connect this to the circuit and uh, well turn our potentiometer until we see a change in the until we see that the switch is activated. So we start by connecting 5 volts in ground, 5 volts and ground, and this one should start blinking here, which means that it is playing the sound on this SD card. 
right. So then we have our NPN transistor and instead of a resistor because we don't know what value we want we are going to use this potentiometer. So we need to find the so I bring out my multimeter here. So this is a 100k logarithmic um, potentiometer. So we need to find the pins that is to uh, 100k right now. So these two pins, the two leftmost pins, is. 100k right now, which should be plenty enough to uh, not make the transistor do anything to the switch here. Then we also need to find out which pin is plus and minus. So we get the minus value there and plus plus three volts that's what it's using so this is plus and we want to connect plus to the emitter side so that on the 2n3904 which is the transistor we are using that is pin 1 so we connect that to pin 1 and then the base which is the middle pin we connect to the middle pin of the of the potentiometer and the leftmost pin, the one that is in this position that the uh, that the potentiometer is in right now is 100k we connect to pin 13 and lastly we connect the collector to ground and we also need to connect the grounds together which they are okay so now we load the normal blink sketch we are going to do a little rewrite here we're going to use two seconds so it's going to be two seconds pressed and two seconds not pressed which will make the button uh, act as a mode instead of just play and pause um, so the transistor is connected to plus on the on the button uh, to the emitter and then the collector is connected to to ground so that is the same this is the same ground as the ground there so if you connect it there or there sh really shouldn't matter so because of that when the voltage over the potentiometer is high enough uh, the button will be pressed so now here starts our testing phase so we turn this up a bit and we see if something happens to this LED when this LED blinks we can of course also connect speakers so we hear when there's sound playing or not I still only have that scary sound though, so not very 
nice sound to sit and listen to for a long time. We continue to turn. There, something happened there. So now it continues to blink and there it's shining all uh, with a not blinking <laughs> just shining there and then it blinks again and the sound is playing and the LED makes it not blink the LED makes it blink so this is the value we have so now what we can do we remove this and it was the two leftmost pins so we take out our multimeter and we see what the value what the resistance is between these two pins and that seems to be around 17k so let's find a resistor that has about that value okay so here I have found an 18k resistor let's see if this works so we just connect this on these two pins and now when that one was blinking that one stopped blinking and now it started again so 18k resistor works fine for this so here is a much simpler solution for using a switch you just use one transistor and one s small resistor one transistor and one resistor <laughs> and then you have made a a Arduino controlled switch so really simple and just by using a a potentiometer with a high value you can find a a good value to use that will work for your device without breaking it so a tiny episode for a tiny project as I said before, one transistor and one resistor and just using a potentiometer to find the right value you can really simply and really cheap and really small uh, connect and control any device that has a button uh, and this opens up a world of possibilities if you want to connect this put a Arduino into any device to make it controllable over Wi-Fi, Ethernet, any kind of, of XP or, or any protocol that you can talk to the Arduino with. And with the newer Arduinos, uh, they have built-in Wi-Fi and all that stuff. So, really powerful. Hope uh, that you can find some and make some cool projects with this. And I really would like to know what you do with this and um, so please share that below and if you make a video share it and so more can see what you've done hope you like this if you do press the like button and uh, subscribe so and i did find a house yes i am still in my same studio workshop uh, i have started to take some of the stuff away here but uh, now we have uh, we bought a new house and we are going to start packing seriously from now on so uh, hope to see you soon in a new location take care bye